All right, we've got here the ECM Synchronica. Um, now, one of the questions I had, and I couldn't find an answer on the uh, on the web or YouTube, is what is the stock flow rate uh, without flow control? And I wanted to know how many mils grams uh, per second. So when I'm when I have this installed. Uh, is a let's say is it one turn that will be stock or quarter as well or you know or is it half so I really didn't know what what it was and um, and I just wanted to start off with a good factory setting of stock flow rate on the E61 group head um, that way I know a good starting point um, to start um, pulling some shots. Um, it was the first couple of shots that I've done with the flow control. I was really burning it um, or running way too much, um, running way too much water through, and you know, and I had no crammer and stuff. And also with this whole new setup that I bought, I also bought a new grinder. So I'm trying to dial in the grinder, trying to dial in the machine. I've got so many variables, so. I went, to, went ahead and installed the stock. Um, that way I've got one less variable to muck around with and then I can continue on making um, uh, adjustments to my grinder and, um, and, and, and my porta fitters. But um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do, um, so that's installed. Um, I'll show you how to remove it, put the new one in if you buy the kit. We've got ourselves a jumbo size milk jug. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tear it. Uh, so that's going to get zeroed. We're going to run it for 10 seconds. And I'm going to, um, we've got a timer here. We're going to, doesn't matter if you've got an E61 group head with a vibration pump or rotary, I'm going to run it um, while it's under flow. So, so that's zeroed. And we're going to go, as soon as I put that in, I'm pressing start. And we're going to do it for 10 seconds. And I'm going to pull it out, and I'm not going to turn that off. So we get a good average, 10. There we go. Now we can measure it. And I've got 121 grams or 121, oh, 120 mils of water in 10 seconds. There you go, look at that. So, with the stock, with the stock unit, over 10 second run, without any restriction, we got 120 mils for 10 seconds. So now we're going to go take that out, put the flow control in. Um, I'll show a little trick so we don't scratch up the chrome. It's a nice little trick. And um, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to open the valve so we get the same. And then if I say if it's like, let's say it's, it's a one turn, um, then when you have your one, let's say if you don't want to be uninstalling this and whatever, you can pretty much dial it in as much as I did and you know that that's uh, stock and then uh, stock group uh, E61 head uh, flow rate. Um, so let's go ahead with that now. Um, so let me just set this phone up again. I don't have a fancy stand or anything. I don't, I'm not, I don't do YouTube videos, but so... Let's go. No, I don't know if you can see that close enough, but grab yourself a big 300 mil shifter. Some make sure it's nice and wide so you can go across there. Um, turn off your machine. Any extra pressure in a tank. This is going to be a bit tricky because everything's really hot now. Um, so just reduce that pressure. There's a little bit in there. Um, 
put some paper around um, your fitting. That way, when you go to it, and you go to un un remove it, just tighten it so you get good contact with the paper, and then just slightly undo it. Shouldn't take much. It shouldn't be too tight. Like it's, it, otherwise, if you put it too tight when you're installing the new one, um, what's going to happen is that seal, you're going to crush the seal. You don't want to crush seals. All right, so that's the stock one. If you have a look at it, um, the spring's in there still. And now, the, uh, there's also an O-ring, so let me grab that O-ring out. It doesn't matter, the new one's got the same O-ring. Oh yeah, it comes with an O-ring like that. So, I'm gonna put this away. And there's our one that we just bought. So, that's your flow control. So that's fully closed, and now we open it up. So now you know where my issue is, is like, where's stock? You know, like, so now I'm gonna go ahead and install it. Make sure that spring's inside there. There we go. Always do it up nice and gently when you have something under pressure. There we go. And then, so that's finger tight. We grab our piece of paper again. Can you guys still see? Yeah. All right, so, I don't want to scratch up my chrome. So we open it up, place it around, there it is. Slightly close it and give it just a little bit, not too much. You don't want to crush that little plastic seal. All right. So now that's on tight. That's giving some heat into it now. And that's closed. That's one turn. So I've got a feeling it's going to be around one turn, but anyway, let's turn it back on. And let's, Get another reading. Okay, so it's almost up to temperature. Um, just check that everything's working. We'll quickly turn it on. Yep, we've got pressure. There we go, almost 10 bars close. Open it up, it goes, fully opens eight bars. Um, anyway. So now we know that the group head is nice and warm. The valves are all nice and warm. We've got 93 degrees on our brew boiler. Um, so let's go and zero in this XL size milk jug. And we're gonna do the same test. Just so we've got a good... So we've got our stopwatch. We're going to run that and what I'm going to do, so that's closed and that's pointing let's say at 10 o'clock on my machine. Let's go back to 10 o'clock but one turn. We've got eight bars running and we're going to go start. Oh, now reset, ready, set, go. So 10 seconds, just want to see if it's, we're going to do this probably a couple of times, 8, 9, 10, turn that off, 104 mils, so in 10 seconds, so I reckon if we point it down to, so my fully closed, now what I'll do, show you here so here we go I'll show you 
Um, sorry, the video cut out. I've got a 10 minute limit. Um, so that's fully closed and that's pointing like about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. So we open it up one revolution. And now I'm going to go to 9 o'clock. I think that's where we're going to hit our 120 grams. Um, so let's give that another go. Um, Alright, so we'll empty that. So that was 104. So let's try this again. So we got our zero. Let's get our little stopwatch. Uh, reset. Okay. Let's open it up. And ready. Uh, go. Alright, 10 seconds and then I'll pull it away. Hopefully, we get the same as the stock. So, 8, 9, 10. Alright, back on the scales. Turn that off. Oh, we've got 106. So, not too far off. The first read, uh, the second reading. So, I'll open it up a little bit more. All right, so I've opened it up to now six o'clock. So that would mean one turn and one third of a, of a second revolution. So we will tear it again, get our stopwatch, reset, turn it on. And three. There we are. I'm doing it this way because I don't want to get confused with row tree and there you go. 130. It's 130 grams. One turn and one one full revolution plus one third of a revolution and i said that i start my close point is 9 30 10 o'clock so we open it up one and now go one third and that got us pretty much to factory have a look at that oh, the scales have just uh, adjusted themselves um but yeah, so if you if you if you want to know where that should be to get to get roughly the same as a factory, your yours might be different, right? So it might be here, might be here, wherever wherever that original thread started out in a factory, wherever it started to start to tap. But my one is here, which is actually quite nice. Uh, so we're going to, that's one revolution plus one third. There we go. And that is the same as that now. So from now, from there, if I want to make it nice and uh, richer, heavier body, I can close it up a bit more and then and then not to burn it i can open it up whatever all right so hope this video helps um and i don't think this will be uh just for the ecm synchronica this is a e61 um group head and the test i did it doesn't matter if you've got a vibration pump or rotary because we had the lever on as we did it and we timed it so if you do the same amount um so open it up do a 10 second run with a jug um you can get the same uh ones as well so even if you have a Pre profitex 700 and you've got a uh, flow control on, on installed let's say you don't have the original one you want to know where's factory boom 
That's what we're aiming for is 123 grams, 128 grams, so around there for a 10 minute cycle, uh, for a 10 second cycle. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm just happy with this machine. Um, but yeah, because I've purchased this and a new grinder to try and dial that in, plus I had that installed. I really don't didn't know where uh, where I should be starting to start doing my adjustments um, because I didn't know if I was over grinding like that. That is pretty fine. That's a nice espresso, but um, espresso grind. So just a little bit thinner than like salt. Um, but yeah, I just didn't know where where I was going wrong. Um, but now I know that it's not too bad. Now that I know that that's at factory. Okay. Um, I hope this video helps. Um, I couldn't find any information. Um, so that's why I did this video. So anyway, any other questions? I'm happy to help out if I have time. Um, yeah, time's a bit scarce for me. All right, cheers, guys.